So, welcome to uh, MSE 101 Maths, uh, the section of eight lectures on data analysis. Uh, and these are going to be delivered by me and by uh, Sam Cooper. And um, they're really about, uh, we start off looking at uh, series and curve fitting and logarithms. Um, and then we look at uh, how, and in series we're looking at how to approximate a function by a, a power series, so like x, x squared, x cubed, and so on. Um, with a, a number of coefficients, and you can, it turns out you can use that to model any function. So if you have a difficult function you're struggling with, you can um, re-express it as a power series and then operate on the power series, which can a lot of the time be a lot easier. Um, and then we go on to think about uh, Gaussian normal distributions, that is peaks, um, and or distributions of data, and how we integrate those, how we deal with parts of distributions. And that will take us on um, then to think about uh, errors and uncertainty and how errors propagate through equations if we have some uncertainty in our data that we're modeling with an equation, um, some physical law that we're trying to fit to some experimental data. Um, and then we come on from there to think about data fitting, how we do a linear regression to find some physical coefficients in some function we're trying to fit with some uh, physical meaning, a diffusion equation or something like that. Um, and then uh, we go on to think about non-linear curve fitting, uh, what we do with uh, non-straight lines, uh, and then how we do general non-linear squares, which is what it's called, um, which is uh, fitting any function, so fitting then the Gaussian, and we'll use things like MATLAB for that. The main books for this course, um, your A-level math textbook to begin with is very good. Um, if you didn't do it in A-level, there's some stuff here that's at the very edges of um, single maths and further maths A-level. Um, Boas is really good, uh, Mary Boas and, your, and Stroud have your primary textbooks for maths, but they don't include the data analysis and data fitting. Um, Squires here, Practical Physics, is really good. Um, probably every physical scientist doing experiments should read Squires, um, and that has lots of good stuff uh, about error propagation and about linear regression, and in general about doing good experiments and recording data and how to go about uh, right, using a lab book and so on. And it's really, it's an easy read. It's really good reading and you should really read this. Uh, we'll touch on the edges of it a little bit. Um, and then for the final non-linear squares, you want this book, which is uh, Numerical Recipes in C. Uh, uh, the cover of it looks like this, Numerical Recipes. There's for different programming languages. And that's what um, things like MATLAB use. And we'll use MATLAB uh, in the end to do our, our data fitting. Um, Everything you need is at dindavid.com slash mse101, uh, particularly the notes, which are these, about 30, 40 pages in length, uh, and uh, then a bunch of videos, you're watching one, so hopefully you know how to find those. Uh, and then in the class sessions, we'll do what we did in uh, 104 phase diagrams. We'll do some little problems in class. We'll try and cement our understanding. So what I want you to do is uh, read the notes, possibly watch the video before the lecture, and then in the class session, what we'll do is we'll work on that material and try and figure out how to use it. You'll then have some tutorial, you'll have a tutorial with some tutorial questions on this material, and then there'll be a test at the start of the summer term and the June exam, and that's how it'll be examined. And there'll probably be a question or so in the June exam on this material. Uh, and now the other thing to comment is that we're doing this as a team teaching approach. That is, uh, Dr. Horsfield asked uh, both Sam and myself to lecture this, and we both said yes, so we're doing it together. Uh, Sam is a uh, RA, a, a research associate, a postdoc in the department, and uh, you might ask, well, you know, I don't really like being lectured by postdocs. And in general, I would agree, you know, mostly you should be lectured by academic staff. But we do want to have postdocs get some experience of lecturing because that enables their careers to become future academics. We want to teach them how to teach. Um, and also, actually, they can be better at it than academics. A lot of this material, power series and stuff, I last did 20 years ago when I studied it the first time. And I have, have used it in the sort of ether since, but I've never taught it. Sam has actually taught it because he's taught kids at, at A-level doing math tutoring um, during his PhD to make a bit of money. So he's actually taught this much more recently than I have and uh, to people who struggle with it. So he's actually a, arguably a better place to lecture this than I am. Um, and I'm supervising, he's under my supervision to do this teaching, and we're doing it together. He's helped make the notes, he's made a lot of the videos, uh, and we'll see how, how we go. Um, and I'm doing the second half roughly, he's doing the first half of this course. So it'll be great fun. 
Um, and uh, I hope you enjoy the course.